this video is about the election of the president and this is the first class in the indian polity series i start with the president then vice president prime minister like that okay uh, let's begin the video directly uh, the first i would like to introduce uh, our introduction to the president okay some introduction some points just a some point okay the president you know the president is is the first citizen of india everyone knows he is the first citizen of india and he is the head of the state means he is the head of the country our india okay and he is the nominal head of the executive nominal head of executive means he is not the real executive he is not the head of the real executive prime minister is the head of the executive in later classes you will understand why prime minister is a real head, a real head of the executive uh, why president is a, a nominal head of the executive uh, uh, just for uh, just for understanding i give a one sentence uh, one word pm is the real head real head of the executive because all the functions are all the uh, executive functions are carried by pm okay in the name of president okay in the name of president means every executive activities are taken taken in the name of president but they are taken by the prime minister and council of minister you will understand well in the uh, upcoming classes okay don't worry about that okay and uh, one more thing um, e president one more thing we need to understand from the examination point of view like competitive exam president is a part of executive okay president is the part of the executive plus president is also part of parliament okay i already said uh, executive why is a part of executive all the executive actions are taken in his name president president's name and parliament why is a part why is a part of why he or she is the part of parliament because every act every bills by the parliament or uh, made by the parliament become act only after it taking the assent of the president okay that's why he is a part of executive he is a part of the parliament okay this is uh, a basic thing we need to understand we need to know about the president okay uh, let's come to the topic then okay observe there is an article in constitution of india that is the article 52 what article 52 says there shall be president of india means india must and should should and must or must and should have the president at any cost india need to possess the president india not without the president means india president should be presidential office should be present at any cost at any time okay this is the mandate this is the constitutional mandate okay then what is the uh, how we elect the president okay there is a constitutional mandate now what is the constitutional mandate the president should be present presidential office should be occupied by a president okay this is the mandate then uh, there is a uh, then there must be a procedure for electing the president means the constitution is mandating the presidential office a uh, presence of the presidential office then it also gives the how the presidential office to be filled okay that is indirect election means president president is not elected by the people directly means we are elect the mlas okay we are elect the we are elect the mlas mps by directly casting our vote going to the polling booths this is the direct election okay but in case of president we are we people we common citizens are not going to elect the president okay we are not directly electing the president that's why presidential election is not direct 
it is indirect election why it is indirect election means these people mlas and mps are going to elect the president on behalf of us on behalf of our, on behalf of the citizens common citizens of the people common citizens are peoples of india these peoples who are the representatives of the people MLAs and MPs are representatives of the people, and these representatives goes and elect the president. That's why it is the indirect election. Yes, of course, here the election is taking place. To the election is taking place like casting vote by the individual MPs, MLAs. But this election is not direct. It is indirect. Why it is indirect? It is because the electors are. MLAs and MPs, not the people, common citizens. That's why. Okay, I hope it is clear now why it is indirect election. Then who elects you? What exactly the uh, who are the who are exactly the electors of the president? Okay, we should we need to understand that. Okay, there is an article again. I am mentioning the article uh, in the Constitution that is fifty four. This fifty four says who are the electors of the president means this stipulates this article stipulates stipulates who are going to elect who are the electors of the president okay I I call those peoples I I call those group of peoples who are electing the president as electoral college even constitution also mentions this word electoral college what is electoral college this is the group of people or this is the group of representatives who are entitled to vote in the presidential election okay then who are those people okay before to before i explain those people those that group we need to know the uh, the f- uh, what the framework of the parliament a framework of the state okay in state we have two houses of legislative legislative assembly and legislative council some states have only uh, legislative assembly that is vidhan sabha vidhan parishad okay just understand this i will uh, explain later why i am showing this okay parliament lok sabha is there the rajya sabha is there okay these in parliament we have lok sabha rajya sabha okay and and there is there are also nominated members means in pa- rajya sabha the 12 num- members are nominated by the president uh, because uh, uh, some peoples are extraordinary uh, do did the extraordinary work in sports and uh, social services like that they are uh, some peoples that is 12 members are direct uh, are nominated by the president okay in lok sabha two are anglo indians who are these peop- these two peoples are so nominated by the president okay then then in legislative assembly also uh, the one people one person is nominated by the governor okay governor yeah so this is the framework we have in the in our country state and parliament okay this is at the union this is as the state okay then see here what is electoral college now? what what uh, comprises electoral college okay. electoral college comprises the elected members elected members of parliament okay elected members of parliament what is parliament rajya sabha and lok sabha okay then elected members elected members of state legislative assembly okay then third one elected members elected members of union territories that is delhi and puducherry and puducherry then what is this see we know elected members 
elected members of uh, there are elected members in lok sabha there are also elected members in rajya sabha okay why why am i am mentioning elected members elected members means these members are not included in the electoral college at all no nominated members involved in the presidential election okay from the parliament okay then elected members of state legislative assembly okay state legislative assembly elected members are involved elected members no nominated member this person this nominated by the governor is not involved in the election okay then elected members of union territories particularly delhi and puducherry puducherry okay why you to why only delhi and puducherry because these two union territories have legislative assembly because they are big other uh, unities uh, unities like daman diu and um, what lakshadweep like that, they are very small they don't have a uh, legislative assembly they are directly administered by the central government okay that's why uh but these two delhi and puducherry have legislative assembly the, then what is legislative assembly that assembly as the elected members so the elected members are involved in the electing the president okay this is the electoral college these people okay these people are involved are casting the vote in the presidential election for choosing the president for the country okay this is the electoral college i hope it is clear okay then uh, there is a name for the uh, there is a name particular name to the uh, presidential election uh, presidential election what is that name that is the name of the election is proportional representation okay there are two types of election see i am not uh, explaining in detail just cursorily i am giving the uh, data related to that there are two types of election first fast the first fast the post and other one is the proportional representation proportional representation okay what is first fast the post see this is uh, both are practiced in india both are practicing in india okay first fast the post means in mla mp's election means if two people are participating in one constituency let's assume two people or three people four people any uh, any number okay who will be the winner of this election how we consider how we declare this person would be the winner the person who gets highest vote will be the will be the winner of the election will will represent the constituency in the assembly or parliament that means he is the winner he is the representative of that constituency okay this system of election is called first first the post system means it is not you know, considering the or it is not setting the uh, particular number of votes the person need to get to consider that person as the winner of the election okay the first for, uh, okay that consideration if the election considers certain limit the person need to possess a person need to get okay that type of election is called proportional representation means he has to means here also the proportional representation is practiced in presidential election in india it means the president need to get 50 more than 50% of the vote to consider he is the winner she is the winner or she is she to become or he to become the president of the country means there is a maximum there is a minimum limit above which he need to get the vote okay you will get a many videos in youtube itself about the proportional representation you can search and uh, go through it okay then what is secret ballot there is one more word we need to understand secret ballot okay see secret ballot means the mps mlas these are the electors okay 
it is clear now mps and mls are voters okay these mps they if this is consider this is the ballot paper the person a b c okay let's consider one mp he is casting votes he, he is casting vote and he is marking his preference to a okay and this vote this ballot paper this mp did not, need not to show to his party leader means let's take in rajya sabha election okay just bit just for understanding in rajya sabha election rajya sabha election though uh, there also mls mls are the electors okay just understand mls are the electors and these mls choosing their preference a b c choosing their preference they choosing i am uh, if i uh, let's assume i am the mla i am choosing the preference or give, giving the preference to a person after casting this after after um, what after uh, showing my preference to uh, preference or casting my vote this ballot paper need to show to the party my party leader okay this is called open ballot okay. but here the mp the mp or mls need not to show to the party leader need not to show to the party leader okay he directly cast his vote and put into the ballot box ballot box this is what we called secret ballot this is what we called open ballot if the part if the voter shows the ballot paper to party leader this is open ballot if the party or mla is not or mp not showing the ballot paper to party leader then it is a secret ballot so secret ballot is practiced in presidential election okay this is all about the um, presidential election who elects the president and how elects how the how they elect the president okay i hope this is clear now